let's solve the following question. We're interested in finding the length of the arc of the circular helix with vector equation given to us. First component is cosine, second component up is sine, and the last component is t, starting from the point 1, 0, 0 to the point 1, 0, and 2, pi. We call the formula L is going to be the definite integral a to b of the magnitude of r prime of t dt, which is nothing but the integral a to b, the square root of the first component squared plus the second component squared, we're taking the derivative of r, so we are taking the derivative of each of these components and we square them h prime to the second power dt. So it's equal to the integral. Taking the derivatives are not that hard. We are having the integral of cosine prime, which is negative sine, to the second plus the derivative of the second component is cosine to the second, and then you have the derivative of t to the second, one to the second, dt. Well, we need to identify what is the lower bound and what is the upper bound of our t. Starting point is one, zero, and zero. Well, it means that at this point, cosine of t is equal to one, sine of t is equal to zero, and t is equal to zero. t equal to zero satisfies in these two equations. So it means that the lower bound is equal to zero. Now it says the terminal point is one, zero, and two pi. One, zero, and two pi, okay. One, cosine t is equal to one, Sine t is equal to zero, and t is equal to two pi. Again, if you plug this into the previous two equations, it satisfies these two equations. So the terminal point two pi. Now let's just compute this integral zero to pi, and here you have the square root of sine squared plus cosine squared, which is one, plus another one, dt, which is equal to square root of two, integral to zero, to two pi, dt. Remember that the integral of dt is equal to t. So L, or the length of the arc, is equal to square root of two, and t is bounded between zero to two pi, so you have square root of two, two pi minus zero, or two square root of two times five. 